In this video, I'm going to reveal a simple yet highly effective and profitable trading strategy. We'll go over the indicators of the strategy, some examples, and then I'm going to backtest it 100 times to see what we get. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video so I could show you some key adjustments that could be made to this strategy to make it even more profitable. Now, let's get to those indicators. So first up, we have the trading the trend indicator you'll be able to find the link in the description down below just like all the other indicators now when it comes to the settings on this indicator we'll keep it at the default the style what I recommend is removing the trading the trend line uh, we will go ahead and remove the background color and then the buy and sell uh, markers will also remove and the next up we have the Kaufman adaptive moving average or comma and this one we will change the settings we'll go ahead and change from the uh, 21 length down to the 14 and then next up we have the price density indicator by blue capital trading and we will be making a decent amount of edits to the settings on this indicator so first up we are going to use the relative uh, price density calculations um, as far as the length we are going to bring this down to five and then as far as the bars we're going to bring that down to 20. now when it comes to the style of this indicator we will change the purple and the green bars we're going to break them down to zero percent opacity uh, for both and then we will edit the uh, blue and red bars to both have a green color that way we know that these are the times to trade and last but not least, we have the braid filter indicator. This will serve as our primary trigger indicator for entries. And when it comes to the inputs, we will keep them on their default settings. So when it comes to the rules of this trading strategy for buy entries, we will need green candlesticks for the trading the trend indicator. Along with that, we will want the closing price to be above the blue line, the comma. We will want our price density indicator to show those green bars, even if they're small. And we will be using the braid filter as our trigger indicator. So when you see that first green bar, that will mean that it's time to enter the trade. And now when it comes to sell entries, we will be looking for the opposite. For the trading the trend indicator, we'll be looking for red candlesticks, the closing price to be uh, below the comma and then when it comes to price density we'll still be looking for the green bars to make sure that we're good to trade and then when it comes to the braid filter our trigger indicator we'll be looking for that first red bar and now when it comes to the trade management we'll be looking at a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio and then stop losses can either be set at the comma line level or by using a multiple of the ATR so what we're going to do next is take a look at a couple of examples and then we'll get to our back testing results but before we get to all of that please make sure to like comment and subscribe hit the bell notification if you're enjoying the content now let's get to it And as for our final results, we took 100 trades, we had 59 winners and 41 losers, which leaves us with a win rate of 59%, a profit factor of 2.16, and we had a max drawdown of 5.88. And this only leaves us with the question of, can we make this strategy better? And I would say that, yes, you absolutely can. And up on the screen, you can see just an example of that to where I was seeing a lot of these trades go through and price would just continue going in the direction that the original trade was taken in. And so for here, if you were to say, consider using the comma as an exit indicator, say after you hit your first initial take profit, if you were to split them into two different trades per position, you could potentially ride that second trade up until it crosses back down below, let's say on a buy on the comma and then go ahead and exit. And up on the screen, you could see that we actually had two trades to where we would have made right around 300 pips in this case, um, and then 324 pips 
in the other case. So definitely a lot more opportunity to build upon this strategy to make it even more profitable. Another thing that you could potentially do is to find one more indicator to perhaps complement this array that we already have set up here to filter out those bad trades. Of course, when you go through and you do your own back testing, I suggest that you check out actually my video placed uh, above to see how you can actually eliminate those trades by going through back testing and then taking another indicator and then seeing how it eliminates those bad trades. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell notification below. Make sure that you do your back testing and your forward testing when trying out this strategy or any strategy for that matter. But hey, other than that, keep grinding, keep doing the darn thing, and I'll see you on the next one.